January is Cervical Health Awareness Month, so let's talk about it. Cervical health refers to the health of the cervix, so first, let's define what the cervix is. This is an image of the female reproductive system. The cervix is the lowermost part of the uterus. It connects the vagina, or birth canal, to the uterus, or womb. The biggest risk to the health of the cervix is cancer. Today, we will be focusing on how to prevent cervical cancer. We will focus on three mechanisms, the HPV vaccine, pap smears, and condom usage during sex. Number one, cervical cancer is most often caused by a long infection with a virus called HPV, or human papillomavirus, which is a sexually transmitted infection, meaning that it is passed from one person to another during sex. The HPV vaccine protects us from becoming infected with the types of HPV that cause cervical cancer. Children should receive the HPV vaccine by the time that they are 11 or 12, but can receive it as early as 9 years old. If you are 26 years old or younger and haven't received the HPV vaccine, it's really important that you do so. And if you're between the ages of 27 and 45 and were never vaccinated against HPV, you may still be eligible. Our patients can seek guidance on HPV vaccination, as well as receive the vaccine itself, at the Chester County Health Department. Ask the front desk for instructions on how to contact the health department. Number two has to do with the way that we screen for cervical cancer. Pap smears are a way that we can check for cervical cancer. Detecting cancer early gives you a greater chance at a cure. To perform a pap smear, a provider will insert a swab through the vagina and into the cervical canal. They will also swab the sides of the cervix to collect a sample. That sample is then sent to a lab to check for anything abnormal. If there is anything abnormal, then the patient will be sent for further testing. Providers recommend beginning screening for cervical cancer at 21 years old and then repeating a pap smear every three to five years until 65 years of age. Talk to your provider today to see if you are due for your next pap smear. Number three. Wear condoms during sex. Wearing condoms can help prevent you from becoming infected with STDs such as HPV. Lastly, let's talk about another way that we can help protect ourselves from developing cervical cancer. Not all people with HPV develop cervical cancer, so it's clear that there are other factors at play. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is one of the best ways we can protect ourselves from all forms of cancer. Some things to think about are eating a well-balanced diet, staying active, and not smoking cigarettes, or quitting if you already smoke. Let's wrap up this video with some take-home messages. If you are a person under the age of 45 and have never received the HPV vaccine, ask your provider about the vaccine today. Both men and women need to receive the vaccine to stop the spread of HPV. If you are a woman, ask your provider when you're due for your next pap smear. Stay consistent with them. Both men and women wear condoms during sex. This will help you stop the spread of HPV and other STDs. If you are in need of free condoms, you may find them in the exam room during your visit today. This video was developed with information from the CDC.